Hey YouTube, uh, just coming back to you again. As you can see here, I just, uh, I got the road cleaned up. Come down here to where I have a food plot and I've been doing some clearing with the excavator here. Um, trying to get this opened up so I can get in out of here with the tractor and get some wood out. I have some wood I gotta get out of here. You can see I got it pretty well getting it just cleaned up here, working my way down. Um, yeah, there's the excavator. I'll do a, I'll do a review here in a few weeks on that. Here, yeah, that maybe a few months. I get really working it on some jobs. I had a 3072 before, and that was great. So I'm not too worried about it. Um, uh, here's the reason I had to plow out the road the tractor. Just uh, didn't want to make it up through all the snow we got here. Um, even with the chains on it, it was just spinning pretty bad. So I'll go over this tractor a little bit with you guys. It's a 2020 3039R. 30, 30, 30, um, got about 38 horsepower, almost 39. Um, I don't know, I believe it might be 32 horsepower at the PTO. I'm not 100%, it's pretty close to that. Um, this machine, as you can see, if I can get in here, Oops, sorry. It has the uh, five inch John Deere wheel spacers on it. The rear remote, which that's a must. And I just added a little LED light there for working at night, backing up. I do have the quick hitch. Love that, must for me. Different implements, tiller, brush hog. And I have an old brush hog and it fits right with it. So that works. Got some pick chains on her. Um, Tires are full of uh, rim guard. Um, I also have a ballast box that goes on normally. Yeah, it's got the 320R loader. And I put the uh, brush guards here on the front, the extra you can put on. Um, this has been good for me. I've had it about a year now. Um, it's a good tractor. I shouldn't say a year. It'll be a year in June, I guess. but. Um, it's been great. It's beefy. Does what I need it to do. I came from a started out of one series and went to a two, a 2038R, and I'm up to a 3039R, and I'm gonna stick with that I think for quite some time. My next purchase here, I do construction as well. It's gonna be a skid steer with a cab. So um, yeah, it's got a seat's comfortable. Ergonomics are pretty nice. I just don't understand why they didn't put the armrest on the seat. 2038 um, as am. Um, I added these lights as well on right here. I mean, they have the wiring all just set here in the back. John Deere does. You can just tie in, and it works right with your lights on the dash. So that's awesome. Yeah, it's been great. Say the wheel spacers, night and day difference. I don't know if I'd own the tractor if it wasn't for that. Um, they're a little tippy. Um, yeah, I do some brush hogging on some hills, so that was a must, but I don't know, it's been great. It's got a lot of power, it goes good, I mean, it turns good, uh, it does my five foot brush hog just fine. Someday I'd like to get a six, obviously, that's what I could use, but it works for now, I've had it forever. Um, yeah, I mean, it's just, it's a pretty comfortable tractor to sit on, I really got no complaints, I got about... 45 hours on it now um, and it's great um, lift capacity is pretty good I mean obviously if you want to lift a lot you probably should go to a 4 series or 5 series but I don't do a ton with this it still lifts my buckets up for the excavator and ripper and all that good stuff so it works for me um, I got a set of uh, pallet forks for it which is awesome must but yeah if anyone has any questions on the tractor or anything I can I can reach out to you, just ask me anything you need to ask. I'll uh, I'll get back to you. Oh, I also got the, uh, I believe it was Curtis canopy there from Matillion, I believe. That's where I got it. Um, just easy on and off, snaps onto this bracket, comes off um, during the summer, that's awesome. So yeah, but that's the tractor. Um, there you are here. I'm just about to get it up out of here, finish plowing up what I got to plow here. Um, get a little bit of a landing a spot here so I can 
Sarah getting some wood out and do a little bit more. I got a food plot I'm gonna do down in there next. Um, so yeah, if you guys wanna just stick along with me. Um, I'm kinda new to YouTube. I got a GoPro coming. This is just on my iPhone. Um, so that's all I got for now. Um, this summer, there'll always be a lot more this summer with this machine as well as 3039 iron. I also have a new John Deere zero turn coming, which will be here in a month or so. So we'll do a little overview on that. But yeah, this is my property here. It goes way down 16 acres. Um, so I'm gonna do some work in here, some hunting spots. And uh, as well as that, I'll be working on other spots for other people throughout the summer. Um, I do side work with the excavator all summer and I uh, manage a quarry during the summer here in Burlington, Vermont. So uh, pretty busy during the summer months. Um, winter time, I like to play a little bit. So it's time to get some wood out and do some of that. All right, thank you. Hope you all have a good day. And uh, if you like the video, please hit like, subscribe. That helps me out a lot to keep trying to do these videos because I'm hopefully they'll only get better from here on out. Thank you. Bye.